Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm in the backyard today. So I've got the front yard seeded, it was eight days ago. We're waiting for germination with the bluegrass seed. And in the meantime, I'm trying to figure out what to do with this backyard. Um, you know, in the middle of the yard here, it's mostly like a fescue, fescue mix. Got some Bermuda moving in, and then some little bit more Bermuda over by the deck, which I think was done probably as a patch job or overseeding job by whoever lived here before. But a lot of the area I've killed off with um, some spot treatments for Dallas grass. I didn't want to smoke off the whole yard because it was looking really good during the summer. But I wanted to have a chance to get rid of all the Dallas grass before I put some seed down. My challenge today is to get the mower from the garage back here because I had just, you know, eight days ago seeded down the bluegrass. And I don't want to drag the mower over that. So I'm probably going to have to pick it up and carry it back here. But we're going to get in a mow job and we're going to throw down some seed today. Um, so stick around and we're going to get this all taken care of. Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Mike and this is Mike's Home and Garden. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn about lawn care, boost your curb appeal and do other home improvement projects, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss out. So I'm a little out of breath right now. So as I was saying in the introduction, I want to do some work in the backyard today before the rain to take advantage of that free water. But eight days ago, I did the Blumita overseed in the front, or the bluegrass overseed for my Blumita lawn in the front. I didn't want to run the mower through the new, you know, the newly seeded area, so I picked it up and carried it. It's kind of heavy. That's kind of why. I want, that's why I wanted to avoid running it through the sides of the yard where the seed is. Today, we're gonna do a couple, few things. One, I'm gonna get the mower back here now and cut down this grass. I'm gonna put down some seed. I got some uh, rye grass and some tall fescue. I'm gonna mix it together and put that down and then put down some starter fertilizer. The backyard, I'm not trying to do anything fancy with like churning it into blue muta. I mean, if you see back here, we have a bunch of Bermuda grass over at the end of the lot. Um, the middle of the yard is mostly actually fescue. And then this area here is just a mess because I killed off a bunch of weeds about three weeks ago. A lot of it was Dallas grass and I don't want Dallas grass around. And I've, now it's a chance that it's been killed off. I've given it enough time to make sure it's not gonna come back we can get some seed down. Um, I don't want that area to be muddy and dirty during the winter. I want the kids to have a nice area to play. So I think it's like Kentucky 31, you know, pretty standard stuff. And then some uh, a blend of uh, perennial ryegrasses to put down as well, uh, just to get some quick germination and also good coverage for the winter and in the spring. And also to see what I can do with it next year. I know it's, you know, North Carolina, it's hot. It's the summer next year, ryegrass hates it, but um, you know, we'll see what, how long we can keep it around. Uh, and so that's what we're gonna do. So I'll, let's have some footage of the mow and then we'll throw down some seed and uh, see how this goes. Having the spreader here, have you ever notice? Oh, drop stuff. Have you ever notice on the days you want to do things in the yard, like put down grass seed? It's the days that it's windy. It's not too bad today, but the breeze is definitely going. So hopefully it's not too bad. We're gonna find out. So we got the spreader and it's old Kentucky 31 tall fescue. And then I also picked up from Tractor Supply this perennial ryegrass, which is a blend of Shining Star, Esquire, and Karma. So we'll see how it does. I think the idea today with throwing this down is to see how these lower end price point seeds germinate and how they look once they come in in the backyard. Okay, what I'm really trying to do is do this on the cheap, but still have some nice grass for the kids to play in through fall, uh, winter, and spring. Uh, let's go to the backyard with these seeds and put them down. Each bag's five pounds. Um, each one says they cover 35, well this one says 3,500 square feet. And this one online said 4,000 square feet. So um, let's see what happens.
I put the setter setter spreading spreader setting at five and a half. And with the Kentucky 31, I made a bunch of lengthwise passes and then width passes. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with the ryegrass. It's a blend of, I think, three different ryegrasses from this company. I got it from Tractor Supply, cheap, but you know what? Let's see what happens, because for 15 bucks, if I can get a decent lawn out of it, <laughs> that's a pretty good win in my book. So I wanna try to get this done quick, because if I can get this watered for free, That'd be awesome. So I'm gonna throw down the ryegrass and the starter fertilizer, and then I'll come back. What's going on everyone? We're back. I went ahead and finished up the yard. So what I did today is I threw down the Kentucky 31 fescue seed, perennial ryegrass mix, and then when I was putting everything away in the garage, I got this crazy idea. Why not throw some bluegrass down too? So I weighed out a couple pounds of bluegrass and put a light dusting of it across the yard as well. So here's the three different grass seed selections going into the backyard here for the overseed. Um, as I talked about in the beginning of the video, we got the um, Bermuda grass that's looking kind of rough right now because of the scalp I did actually 11 days ago. Today was the first time I've mowed since I did that scalp and I didn't really take off much today. I didn't even have to empty the bag during the, uh, the mow. Um, so I did take it down just a little bit. I put down the fescue seed, put down the ryegrass seed, put down the bluegrass seed. And then in the areas that I had the weeds all killed over by the garden and the deck and everything and out into the fescue area of the yard, I raked that in really good to ensure that there's good seed to soil contact and that way birds don't eat the seed either with it just being on top of the soil. Here they look for that stuff. They're always hungry. Um, back by the trees as well, I went ahead and raked that in too just to make sure it has good seed to soil contact. Hopefully it helps with germination. The only thing I gotta do now is water. I have the front going right now. I mean, we're eight days since the last or eight days since we overseeded the front with the bluegrass for the blue muta project. So I went ahead and got the water on for the second time today. Once that's done, I'm gonna bring the sprinklers back here and run those for seven to 10 minutes just to kind of get everything down into the soil, get some water going, and then hopefully we'll get some rain tonight. But definitely tomorrow and the next day we're supposed to, which will be great for uh, out here. I'll keep you guys posted on how the backyard's going, the front yard, hopefully in the next day or two, I'll have some exciting news to report for the bluegrass germination. You can see the existing grass, Look at that domination line right there. That starter fertilizer really got it going. I'm gonna go move the sprinklers. I'm gonna get inside and get something to drink because it is hot out. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.